Hello, I'm Adam. Um, welcome to another Rant Theory Revisits. Uh, today, I'm going to be looking at a game. Looking at it at a game. Um, I'm going to be looking at a game that's um, very near and dear to my heart. Um, this is Twin Cobra, and it's an old arcade. Uh, well, it was an old arcade game for me because that's the way I used to play it. Um, back when I was, oh, goodness, I don't even know how old I was. I'll say eight, nine, ten, roughly. Um, my parents ran a milk bar or owned a milk bar um, and um, there was two arcade cabinets in, the, in this milk bar. One of them was Double Dragon, the other one was Twin Cobra. Um, two, two, double twin, that's a bit weird actually now I think about it. Um, so I played a lot of these games when I, when I was growing up. We didn't have a game console or a, or a computer at the time, so this was it for me. Um, which is pretty cool now that I think about it. Um, I still had to pay for it. <laughs> we didn't get free games or anything. They were just, I think they were there as like a, you know, someone basically, uh, you know, not hires out, but they have their con their cabinets in the shop, much like they do now in like pubs and stuff. And um, that's kind of, you know, their income from that. So, so we didn't own them, but they were there and I played them a bit. Um, I still remember hiding... Um, 20 cent coins around the place so I could actually play. You go, oh, I found 20 cents. Oh, now I've got 40 cents. I can play this game now. Isn't that weird? Um, that's, that's how I tried to tried to uh, uh, weasel my way into playing these games. But um, So I played a lot of these. I, I was never very good at it. It was a very hard game. I think I've even set this to easy now um, because it's just, man, so, so hard, this game. Um, but anyway, let's, let's just jump in. Um, it's a shmup. I, I'm not very good at shmups on the best of days. Um, and given that this is a, an older one, this is no exception. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a standard version of this type of game. Shoot, bomb, power-ups, different weapons, all that sort of thing. Um, the thing that made this game so interesting was I really love the weapon types. Um, and the power-ups came with, I think it was like three or four stages. Actually, there might be five stages of power-up for each weapon. Um, so obviously at the moment, there we go. There's our mother bank or mother load ship. I don't know what you want to call it, but that's always got your power-ups of some sort, whether it be a bomb or an upgrade. Um, but yeah, they're, they're always so cool. Always really cool. Um, I can't remember which one was my favorite. I think that my favorite was one of the, the spread one, which I think was the blue one. Um, man, and that, the path of the, ugh, path of the power up is so erratic. And cause I'm not, I'm not, I know, I don't play these games regularly. That just seems so weird to me. Um, it seems worse than probably what it normally is. See, I'm going to get shot. I am absolutely going to get shot. That's a bomb. Now, I will pick up that bomb. One of the crazy things about this game is, uh, is the bomb actually, to be honest, cause can you think about like a bomb in a normal shoot 'em up? Oh man, I'm gonna let it go. Ugh. Um, here we go, power up. Changing it, power up. I'm gonna go blue because I think that's the one that was good. Um, so you gotta wait obviously for it to change. There we go. Yeah, this was it actually. This was a good one. Um, if you think about you know bombs in normal normal shoot 'em ups, they're meant to get you out of trouble. And this one does, but. There's like a delay when you hit it. So you hit, you hit the bomb, and there's like a slight delay. So it's not like you hit it and then you're instantly out of trouble. You um you need to um be prepared for it ahead of time, which sounds really dumb, but it's exactly what it is. Um, uh, I'm gonna get blue again. Oh, oh no, I don't want yellow. Uh, uh, I'm trying to avoid the power up and the. Uh, what? Genuine stress is happening right now. Um, so you can see why I like this weapon when I was a kid. The spread on this thing is redonk. But it's not very strong. Oh. Come here, bomb. Um. So yeah, um, it was, this was just, uh, you know, having something like this downstairs 
from where I slept. It was pretty amazing because, you know, being that I didn't have access to games at the time except for friends houses like this was just you know i loved it uh now i oh, will go a different gun i'll go the green laser oh no that's right it sucks oh, it's, I, forgot. I mean it's pretty tough but uh, oh and a boss great all right this will be good now the bombs will take out bullets so it will will help to a certain extent God damn it. <laughs> I was one hit away from killing it. <laughs> um, the bombs will help to a certain extent, you know, by taking away the bullets and stuff like that, which is, you know, that's a pretty common thing for a lot of shooting mobs. But, yeah, just that delay, that it always got me. It always got me. Um, and yeah, if you die, then you are back to your starting weapon. And it feels like a pea shooter. In comparison, I'm, I'm going to die so easy now. Because, um, it feels like everything takes a couple of hits. I really need that. I really need that. Alright. I need that. I need that. I need that. I'm sort of trying to concentrate a little bit more now. I'm not doing much talking. So yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool game. Even now, I, I think this is still a very, very good game. Um, but yeah, I can't think of any others that I used to play. I, know, I, don't, I was never a big shmup kid. Um, and I think if this game wasn't downstairs and easily accessible, wasn't easily accessible. Come on, Blue. I may not have ever played it. See what I mean? I hit the bomb. Hit the bomb. It was too late. All right, I'm going to continue um, because I kind of want to see how far I can get in this today. So that's 80 cents right there back in the day. That would have been 80 cents spent because uh, this was a 40 cent per game. Uh, 40 cents per credit. Mm. Which sounds like nothing these days when you think about arcades, if you can find them. Um, you know. <laughs> Die! There we go. You think about, you know, what you spend on an arcade now is, you know, a dollar is the standard. I, I guess? I mean, it's been that long since I've been in a, a proper arcade. You know, think like time zone and places like that. They still exist, I don't even know. Um, so 40 cents was the standard for, for us back back when we were kids. I say we, you know, 35 to 40 year olds. Um, so, yeah, so that was, nah. No, continue again, all right. There we go, another 40 cents. Back to my pea shooter. So this this makes it considerably harder. Is that you you don't come back with your standard weapon again. Um, if if it did, I don't know if there's a cheat for it or not. But if it did, that I, I think this would be a lot easier. Um, or at least did that thing that some shoot 'em ups used to do or do, I guess. Because when you do die, they sort of leave a little bit of a something something there for you if you continue. Like, oh, if you continue, I'll give you this power up or something. Um, that would be cool. But this game just doesn't mess around. It's like, nah, you died. So, oh. laser, no! I didn't want to get that. <laughs> God damn it! Burning my bombs. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so stressful. <laughs> um. Alright, I'm back in. Yeah, you know, something. Like, just like a little incentive. But there's nothing. There's absolutely nothing. Um.
I can tell you this much, I never got this far when I was a kid. I couldn't afford it. Oh, you should never chase power-ups, but I need it so bad. I kind of, you know, kind of want to show you um some other power-ups. Come on, die! Ah, oh, too bad. Oh, you're not dead. There we go. Um, yeah, I kind of want to show you some other power-ups. Like the yellow one's pretty cool too. It's like a like it's basically shoots out from the sides and behind as well, which you would think would be cool, but it's it's kind of not because the spread's really quite quite thin. Um, I'd much prefer that blue one. Um, it's definitely easy mode. When you think about the way these um, enemies come out. Now I can't remember. I mean, like I said, I'm not not a big shoot 'em up guy, but a scrolling. No, I'm, I'm in trouble here. Oh no, that's not too bad. Like a, a scrolling map, like going from side to side. I guess that's a thing. Like, I honestly don't know. I mean, someone's going to watch this and go, maybe fucking idiot. But, um... How? How? How are you supposed to shoot it? $1.60. Look at this. Look. How? No! No! Like, even if I could shoot the bullets or something, like, anything. Anything. But there's just, I mean, there's two ways you can get hit. You can get hit... You can get hit by the bullets, obviously, and you can also get hit by the, the, the helicopter. Oh, nearly ran right into that. You get hit by the helicopters, and... So you, you kind of screwed both ways, like it's... So yeah, it's super, super, super hard. But not any less fun, that's for sure. Oh man. Oh man. I wasn't watching. Oh, I'm still in. Okay, cool. Uh, okay. Don't you shoot me from behind. I will not be happy. Two dollars! That's like two hundred dollars now. Back in the eighties. I think it was the eighties. This game came out like eighty seven, I think. I did some research on it before. Um Yeah, two bucks. I've spent two bucks. What could I bought for two bucks back then? Yeah, you know, two dollars two dollars worth of lollies. I know that's like the metric that most people go to these days now. Is how much lollies cost but man two bucks I've been eating for weeks weeks God damn it. uh two dollars get yeah. yeah I don't even know I don't remember ah there we go one I'm still thinking of the kind of shit I used to buy when I was a kid I was never a big comic book guy, so I don't know if I bought a comic. Oh, come on! Ah. You're still not dead! Yay! You're dead! Whew, I need a drink or something, man. It's crazy. Um, yeah, so two bucks, let me think. What could I have bought for two dollars? Thinking like rentals, like I was gonna say DVD rentals. Far out. 80s, as if. Um, I mean, it might have been a rent a game. Actually, no, even that was expensive. Back when I finally got a console, like, like in the early, early 90s. Um, I think early 90s. No, it wasn't. It was. I think it was early 90s, actually. I'm pretty sure it was. Um, so there we go. There's a. Good example of, uh, of that bomb, like being ready to use it. <laughs> it. 
you might have been able to buy a couple of cans of Coke. Maybe two. If you were lucky. Actually, no, you would, no, you would have been about 20 cents short. I remember cans of Coke being like $1.20. Well, damn it! I just want to max out one weapon. I just want to see it maxed out. I should have, should have chucked in a cheat or something before I started. Another one? $2.40. What could that have bought me? We bought something food related. A battered Mars bar or something weird. No. Oh, come on. Oh, oh. Behind shooting. A bit rough. Uh, Alright. In the interest of actually getting further in this game, I'm going blue. Oh, damn it! Oh, damn it. That sucks so much. Oh, no, I wrecked my controller! No! <laughs> no! Oh no, it's just turned off. Now I'm freaking out. We've got volume going. No, what's that? There we go. <laughs> so special this day. Two dollars eighty! Come on, come on. Oh, you. Come here. Two dollars eighty could bought a house back in the eighties. Yeah. See what I mean? Could I just fly over in a helicopter? Go a little bit further. This might be another boss. It's <laughs> so hard. And then you got to try and fight the boss with the pea shooter. Three dollars twenty. Basically, if I had three dollars twenty. I would have been the richest guy I know. No! The last bullet! Come on! And now I don't get to fight him. That's a letdown. Alright. One more one more run through. I'm not gonna be able to get max I'm not gonna be able to max out weapons on this. I'm it is too hard. Still. But very enjoyable. It's been really, that's actually been really cool to, to re-venture into this game. Music's really, <laughs> music's really cool too. Um, oh, yeah, it's in particular that first. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> nah. That first um, area, I love the music in that part. It's pretty cool. Yes, game over. All right. So that's where, uh, that's what $3.20 got you back in the 80s. A whole lot of heartache, sweaty pits, stress, and a high score, apparently. So that was Twin Cobra, a game of my childhood. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, it was fun to play it and um, yeah, I'll have to revisit another game another time like this. But um, for now, thanks for watching. See you next time.